da 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 I didn't eat a cup of coffee I envy the cup of coffee You're singing songs, it's muscle memory guys You're gonna feel, wow, I sang that pretty smoothly Well, duh! Sorry, I had too much coffee How well you warm up your voice is how it's gonna play out in the songs that you sing Hey buddies, welcome back to the May Zane channel. I am Zane Rima. I'm gonna show you the best vocal warm-ups that you can do daily. Build that muscle memory. The more that you do this, literally, the more control you'll have over your voice. Number one, the thing that I, I try to do every single day is breathing exercises using my diaphragm. Once you actually start doing it, you understand why. If you don't understand why I keep saying it, then you're probably not doing it enough times. So get on the floor, lay down like this, and let your stomach inflate with air like a balloon and then slowly deflate the balloon do this for like five minutes straight think about your breathing taking in air and releasing it doing it sometime in the morning or afternoon it's really helpful when you do start singing songs later on in the day it is literally your fuel for singing because if you run out of breath you're not going to be singing so how do you train yourself to have more air and to be able to hold in more air and release it steadily without like <sighs> running out of air practice breathing the second thing is to hum hum first thing in the morning if you don't feel like singing yet for example in the morning when i wake up i'm like i know my voice sounds so dry and i need to like wait for my voice to warm up so humming is safer you won't feel bad and disgusting when you sing and it won't take a lot of effort just hum the songs that you're listening to you can practice your breathing while you're humming so hmm Doing those two things already, first thing in the morning, good. You'll warm yourself up. Singing with a very warmed up voice feels so good. It's like, it's like eating cake. It's just like, wow. It's like being able to do a split, but skipping all the steps. The next thing on my list is tone quality exercises and I do this on my seven day singing course vocal vibes It's a microphone guys that shaped like a rose and colored like a rose sing smoothly then less crackly like I envy the cup of coffee that kisses you every morning It just sounds broken down, you know, you want it smooth and that's your tone of voice That's what people are gonna identify you with when it comes to singing that's their tone of voice try breathing into it so <sighs> I, I envy the cup of coffee kisses you every morning it's more smooth and connected so that's how you want to go about those like tone quality exercises think smoothly it's nicer and more appealing to the ear it's more fun that way than constantly closing your and opening your vocal cords to uh, 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 mm, mm, mm. that's what that sound is uh, 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 uh. my vocal cords are going da 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 uh, and eat a cup of coffee but if i go I envy the cup of coffee. Because you're pushing out more air. All right? Makes sense? So some exercises for tone quality would be like just breathing out some notes. Just do this for the exercise. I know it sounds weird, but try this in a who. Think smoothly and try breathing it out. So. So simple, just do that going up the scale. Smoothing all those cracks instead of doing Ooh. You're doing it like that. Try try this way. Like and just go into it softly. If you do that warm up every day for your tone quality, when you're singing songs, it's muscle memory, guys. When you're singing songs, you're gonna feel, wow, I sang that pretty smoothly. Well duh! Sorry, I had too much coffee. How well you warm up your voice is how it's going to play out in the songs that you sing. Bam! I'm not a vocal coach. I'm not a professional. The next thing that I think would be really helpful for daily vocal warm-ups is to warm up your agility, your riffs and runs. Like, I'm not the best at this. I'm not agile. And there's some crazy singers that can sing like that. <laughs> And that's insane like it, it'll take a lot of training for those who weren't born with it pretty much following the scale just following 
that you don't even have to go up or down follow along to that go at your own pace and then slowly increase that pace and it gets faster i really love doing these because it pushes you to pick up the pace and you're training your muscles in your throat to be able to move faster over time you will get faster the more consistent you become with doing these practices every day you get more flexible and you gain more control over your voice so that's why i really recommend this here i'm gonna show you a quick exercise this is a little snippet from my course You don't even have to do these exercises. You can like follow, um, for example, a riff from a song that you like and then slow it down and then just speed it up over time. That'll help you also exercise your agility and you're not supposed to be moving your jaw unless you're saying it for the vowel like ah, eh, you, oh, ooh. Ah, you don't want to use your jaw fifth thing increase your vocal range over time and also not feel so tight when you're singing certain notes that are close to the end of your range do vocal range exercises every single day it's gonna feel easier singing like higher in your range what i like to do is nasal sirens and i actually saw tori kelly do these Yeah. Saw a change in my voice and I'm like, okay, I like that. On a tune app, oh, but when I go higher, I don't squeeze here. Try to practice not squeezing here and putting it more in your nasal area to hit higher notes. You bring the placement of your voice more from your mouth to your nose rather than your chest to your throat. So if you've seen singers when they're singing in the higher register, they bring up their voice up more here and it's easier to hit those notes. Instead of squeezing here, just for the practice, squeeze up here like you're squeezing a lemon <laughs> lemon lemon whoa you feel more here because you're bringing it up to the head voice but you're also mixing it mixed voice whoa but don't strain don't tighten anything here or over here one of the biggest tips i always shout <laughs> hydrate this is the key to singing you need oxygen you need air and you need food so eat healthy too avoid dairy drink a lot of water in between exercises get yourself a gallon jug do these five things every day and you will see your voice change over time check out my seven day vocal vibes singing course um you could do every single day and i teach a lot of fundamentals about singing that i've learned along the way so yeah check it out and i actually review your singing before the seven days and then after if you decide to send it to me i'd love to hear you sing and i'll give pointers and tips that i think suit your voice i love you so so much b and this is amazing I I don't know if people knew that. Uh...